And could I just immediately start this video off by saying, the changes aren't exciting. I just was something that we tend to point out. Um, and uh, to just look out because no one, I haven't seen anyone do this. Um, so it's always would be interesting. I don't think we look at the Wave 1 trailer, because I was looking back on the choice. This is over a year ago. And I don't really remember this one. Because I remember the Bruce Calls Pass announcement trailer, which is separate to his regular Wave 1 trailer. Um, I might have not seen this uh, when it was coming out. Um, I remember buying the Bruce Calls Pass like, a bit before Wave 2 was announced. Um, probably about a year ago now. Um, in July. Um... But yeah, I, I, I was, so I, and, and people who look at the wave on tracks and they're quite harsh um, and I, I think quite unfairly because I, I, I do think this is a good wave. I do think it holds up. Um, but yeah, I get it in this one. A lot of it is a tour typeface. But I mean, this, this, this trailer compared to what we got in the actual game does show they were tweaking a lot. Um, so we'll just start here. Um, what I'm doing the announcer, by the way, they weren't really for. This is like normal. This is my dude all trailers, right? This is normal so far. Um, although I think in this bit here, you can really tell the lighting is very different compared to the actual game. I don't know if it's just because of the trailer, but it's a lot of the stuff in this trailer in particular feels darker than actual in game. Um, like, it's just like the shadows, I think. It's quite weird, and I, I guess a lighting thing that they decided to fix before its release, something they were working on. But notably is this ramp, the glide ramp here. Very interesting. And I, I don't think it's like this in Tor. I could be wrong, but Tor just has a regular glide ramp. Um, which is what made it to the full release. You just have a regular blue dash paddle, which is signified as a glide ramp. Here, it's just like an actual um, like brick texture with the arrows, like a glide ramp. But you don't have like the blue dash on. I think this looks cool, but I get not wanting to uh, have a different ramp, because that could be confusing. But I think that's really interesting. This is like the main thing I found in this. The rest is just like a lighting thing to look at. But this was the thing that stood out to me. I, I just think it's interesting. Um, I think it's just like the glow, like normal there. Toast circuit looks about the same. The only thing I could really point out is like this sand texture. It looks very orange here and looks like actual sand in the ground, or at least the colour for sand, I get this. <laughs> not really, doesn't really have much detail to it, the offer on this track, I get that, like, that's the only thing I really, like, noticed in terms of, like, graphics, besides that, I, I, I do think this wave looks fine, um, but yeah, I do think that's a different colour, it might just be a light thing again, I'm not sure, um, Choco Man, Choco Man I couldn't, tell anything different. The lighting looks right on this one as well. Um, although, maybe not. Like, like the, the mud texture on the road looks like different lighting. This one is very different lighting. I, I remember this one being pointed out because they hadn't updated his screenshot what the outside looked like because it made it look much more vibrant. But look, this looks very dark. Um, like the only thing sounds like the, the activated lights. Um... And again, I think that's a lighting thing, you know, that the light, like, you can see where the lights are shining, it's just the room being lit up. And you could argue that's more attention to detail, weirdly enough, um, because you can't tell, like, oh yeah, this light is coming from the lights in a full version of Cookman But I do prefer what on the full one, just being a very, very vibrant track. I much prefer that to this kind of weird looking tin, I guess. Tokyo Blur look the same to me. Um, I, I don't know very much to point out here. Um, I didn't change much for this one at all. Um, I feel like the different colour rose here was something that was changed, but I was just wrong. I was wrong that that is in the full one. Shroom Ridge, another one that I can't really point out any differences. Um, maybe, I don't know. I, I mean, the line looks alright on this one. Looks, Quite a 
Um, uh, Sky Garden. Okay, so there's an interesting here. Obviously, an interesting part of this track in general is that they changed the path. The, the tall one is a regular grey one, which is boring. And gave this one. What I'm interested in is I can't see a glide ramp. Um, when Rosalina goes over there, I can't see a glide ramp. Oh, not yet. Where's the glide ramp? I don't think it's a camera, you would have seen it, right? Oh, yeah, you don't look at it again. Seeing Ninja Highway from the back there is kind of quirky. But uh, this track looks the same. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think there is a glide ramp there, so. Sky, um, not Sky or Sunday, um, Sky Garden. So that's another quirky thing. Maybe that was just something that they planning not to change anyway. They just hadn't added them. The uh, glide ramp textures, maybe that's it. It's wild seeing this and like seeing how it's like all filled in now, except for the last way. So we're getting wave five soon. So yeah, just figured before we wait. But now I look at this trailer. Pretty interesting. Um, I I would do this for the other trailers, but everything seems the same to the full release in the later trailers. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.